Hello, my name is uh, Dennis Jensen and this is my first video tutorial. Um, so I'm really really excited. I'm trying to do something simple so I won't make it too complicated for myself. Um, so I hope this will be the first of many video tutorials um, in a series because I think this could be very very cool and fun to make. First let me just uh, be some what we are going to see in this video tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you the basic of UV mapping. I'm, I have a model and I'm going to show you how to really fast UV map it in Maya. Uh, because when you import something in Mudbox it's very very important that it has the right UVs. After that I'm going to clean up the model so we can use it for Mudbox. I'm going to import it and then I'm going to show you the basic tools in Mudbox also. So you can make really nice models in a very easy way. In the end I'm going to export it from Mudbox and apply it in Maya. So uh, that's basically it and, and I think it's going to be very very cool. I really hope that you guys is going to learn something from this. Um, if you didn't like the music in the beginning, I'm very sorry, but uh, I think it sets a good mood and I really like that kind of music. Anyway, let's jump into it. This is my model. First I'm just gonna go through it. Um, when you look at it you might think, wow this is really low poly, but uh, it's a very good idea to hold your model very low poly in the beginning. You can always add more subdivisions if you want to, but in the beginning keep it very very low. Um, because it's very easy to change and you can kind of see how it flows. If I press 3 now, I think it looks pretty decent. So I'm quite happy with it actually. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, now I'm going to show you how to UV map it. Fir the first thing you have to consider is where you want the seams to be. Uh, the seams is where your textures kind of um, fit together. So if you don't, if you, if you're not careful, you have a seam uh, right in the middle. It could be right here actually, and that would be pretty annoying because it would be hard to work with when you get to coloring and all the kind of stuff. So Ideally, you wanted a place where it can be seen, and on this model, it's kind of hard. Uh, but I know that I only want to see the heart from the front. I don't really need this in the back, so my seam is going to be right here in the back. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is create UV planner mapping. Option box, apply. Yes. So now I got some basic UVs. If I go to uh, window, uh, UV texture editor, I can see this is my UV mapping now, and looks uh, looks kind of okay if you look at it. But we need to unfold it so it will fit properly and the texture would be right. You have to think as UV mapping like uh, if you take a round cylinder and you kind of cut it up in the side and fold it out, uh, you will have the UV mapping, kind of. It's a bit complicated but uh, I think it will get more clear as we go into it. Um, so this is my front and this is my back, so I'm gonna pick the edges I want to cut. And right now, my object is not uh, cut in the UV editor. So I'm gonna find the scissor. Uh, I'm a bit unused to uh, the new Maya. So I'm just gonna take it on the flow. Cut UV edges. So now if you do this, you can. it's a very nice tool if you click uh, Control and uh, right click your mouse to shelf. You will select the whole uh, UV set 
in uh, but only in parts it's kind of uh, yeah it's a bit hard to explain anyway I got a really nice tool that's called um, where is it it's called UV smooth tool. Okay, I guess they changed the name. Anyway, when you click that button, you get this nice interface where you can unfold and you can relax your model, uh, your UV. Sorry. And if you unfold, it looks oh, that looks kind of strange, you know. So sometimes your UVs are flipped, and you can just flip them, trying to get this to work. And you can see that worked much, much better. UV is folding uh, in 3D space, so it's considering how long the distance is between each edge and trying to uh, get a nice um, space between all the edges so it will look nice when you get your 2D texture on it. Relaxing is only judging from the 2D perspective. So it's trying to fit the same way the same distance between all edges, but only in two planes, uh, in or in two dimensions. So, unfold and relax is very nice. You have to find kind of a mixture between them to what you want to do. Anyway, this looks pretty decent already. So, uh, let me just put a checker map on, so I can see if it looks good or bad. Mm. I'm going to create a Lambert and on the color map I'm going to find checker. Uh, you can find some checker maps on the internet where you can see how it fits better together. I even think you can find a shader to, uh, to Maya where you can see how much it stretches and how where it doesn't. Um, the best solution is no stretching at all but it's almost impossible to get so you have always to play around. That's why a lot of people hate UV mapping. Anyway, I'm gonna apply this as our material, show material. And right now it looks kind of funky, so maybe I have to change it. I'll just uh, check out the layout and then it will fit it automatically in my UV space. That's a very nice tool also. And I'm gonna pump this up a bit. So you see, ah, from the front, I guess from the front it's okay. But on the back, ah, not so good. So that's kind of bad. Um, I'm just considering how I could do it else, ha, else uh, way. So I'm thinking I might be doing. I think I might be doing it with the seams on the side, and kind of fit it together in that way. And UV mapping is really uh, about trying and trying again, and ah, that didn't work, so I'm gonna try a different thing. And it's a bit confusing in the beginning, and it's one of the hardest things as a beginner to do. Anyway, I'm gonna pick the whole front side and then I'm gonna choose planar mapping. So now it's got if we go to the UV space. I have two parts and if I hold control, right click shelf, I pick one part and I can just move it. And this is the other part and it just cut out the front that I just UV mapped. So I got the front and the back and I'm thinking I'm gonna do the same thing to the back. Create UV planner mapping, tada! And then I'm gonna go to yes. So now I got two hearts, the front and the back. Pretty decent. I'm gonna to shelf. Let's see how this unfolds. Um, so this is much better. Ah, uh, this is sometimes you get some weird things like this. And I'm 
I'm thinking like, what the fuck? Why does my does this? It could with the one side, but now the other side is completely a mess. And it's just because it's uh, it's flipped. So if you go to uh, this tool, you can see that this is blue and this is red. It means that this has the backside turned, so you actually have to flip it. If you hold down J while uh, choosing the scale tool, you can flip it like that. That's pretty easy. And then you can unfold it. Nice. If you want to, you can actually seam this, uh, these edges together. Um, I'm not really sure if it's a good idea to do, but I'm just gonna try it, so you guys can see how it looks. And there's a move, see, a uh, move and sew, actually, I have to find it, move and sew edges, and you can see, voila, it just sews it together. Then I'm gonna try to unfold it to fit it a bit more nicely, maybe relax it, ah. I think I think that's good actually. So let's see how the UVs are now. Wow. I think that's much much better. It has a seam right here. Uh, that could be a problem. But I think it's definitely better than on the front. And also you can kind of have it from the back. And that's I think that's a good idea if the client wants some changes or anything. Um, actually I'm doing this hard because I had an assignment where I had to make a heart uh, and then I took it to Mudbox to make some veins and stuff and I, f I thought this could be a really good lesson because there's a lot of different uh, things involved so you get to try to make veins and you got to try to make texture and you get to try Mudbox and all kind of stuff a general rule is that you should make as much at modeling as you can in Maya and when you're done with all, you can figure out in Maya, you can just put it in Mudbox and add the little small wrinkles and stuff, just to give it a nice little hint of detail. So, I got the UV mapping done. Uh, I just have to fit it in my space very quickly. Control to shelf, right click. And then I'm gonna go up to layout. And it's automatically gonna fit it in the best way in my UV space. Um, sometimes, if it's a hard edge surface, you want to have all of the UV spacing more uh, um, more straight. This is a bit crooked, so I actually think I'm gonna. It's not a hard edge; it's an organic material, but I think it's just gonna be more nice to have it like this. Uh, you always have to be organized when you do this kind of stuff. So this is pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. So, I'm just gonna save it. Save AS. Hard UV CVC1. Save. <coughs> 